What's up guys? Beautiful morning here in Boston. Standing outside of the South Station bus terminal and I'm about to take a bus to New York. Yeah, I know. How exciting. He's going to take a bus from Boston to New York. Nobody's ever done that before and nobody's ever made a video about that before, right? Yeah, well, today I'm doing something a little different. You see, I'm using a local New England-based company called Dartmouth Coach, and I'm taking their standard service from Boston to Hanover, New Hampshire, then their premium executive class bus from Hanover back to New York. I've never been up that way before, and I was looking forward to it. Hanover, being the home of Dartmouth College, is your typical lively college town with a New England charm twist or something like that. Throw in the legendary New England fall foliage along the way, and this is sure to be quite the scenic excursion. South Station is Boston's main intercity rail and bus terminal, with the trains on one side and buses on the other. As far as bus terminals go, South Station is quite pleasant. It is neat, clean, and orderly. Several easy to read and strategically placed monitors display upcoming departures and arrivals, and there are ticket counters and concessions for your traveling convenience. The terminal is well patrolled, and it doesn't have that air of seediness that unfortunately accompanies many other intercity bus stations. I arrived at gate 17 well ahead of time and was joined by only a few other people, so I thought this would be a nice empty ride. The bus arrived promptly on schedule, but as it turns out, it originated from Logan Airport and thus was about three quarters full by the time it arrived at South Station. Still, I was able to score two seats to myself near the front of the bus. If I could have your attention to go through a few announcements. First of all, of course, for those that have just joined us, I do want to make sure I've welcomed you on board Dartmouth Coach. My name is Bill. I'll be driving us north into New Hampshire. We are scheduled to pull into New London at 11.15, Lebanon 11.45, Hanover scheduled for 12 noon. Um, there are a couple of construction zones that might slow us down, but if they don't, um, it would not be unusual for us to arrive anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Uh, that's certainly my goal, so fingers crossed for good traveling conditions. For anyone who might not be familiar with the coach, there's a restroom at the back for your convenience. Also in the seat right behind me, some bottled water. By all means, help yourself. If you brought headphones with you, four channels of digital music can be found on channels 1 through 4 of the keypad there in front of you. Audio for the movie that I'll start after my announcements will be found on Channel 5. Of course, there's no smoking, no vaping, no consuming alcoholic beverages on board. And just so you know, a mask is now optional while traveling. As a courtesy to your fellow passengers, we do ask that you please take this very moment in history to silence a ringer on your cell phone. We also ask that you limit any calls you might make or take to only those that are absolutely necessary. In the event that you do need to take or make a call, please try to keep your conversation brief and in a tone of voice that won't be disruptive to those around you. My friends, I truly do hope you find your time on board today to be comfortable. If there's anything I can do to make you more comfortable, don't hesitate to ask. Just try to keep in mind the company does seem to frown on me getting out of my seat while the coach is in motion. That being said, I hope you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, and of course, I thank you for traveling with Dartmouth Coach. We departed South Station and navigated a few city streets before entering the Central Artery Tunnel, which is a Big Dig legacy. If you don't know what the Big Dig is, click the link in the description to learn more about this outstandingly executed, on time and under budget public works project that is the absolute pride of Boston and a shining example. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. <clears throat> 
Anyway, mass hall drivers did mass hall things. And before one could say what a wicked pisser, we emerged from the tunnel and promptly crossed the Zaker Bridge, continuing north on Interstate 93 towards New Hampshire. The streetscapes of Charlestown and the Boston suburbs soon gave way to some scenic foliage, and although we were mostly on interstate highways, we were still able to get a sneak peek of the brilliant New England fall colors. The mountains of New Hampshire made their appearance, and the wide sweeping Prevo windows allowed it all to be absorbed. Of course, no long distance bus trip would be complete without doing what some YouTubers call a Lou review. It's a bus bathroom. We are approaching Lebanon, New Hampshire. Folks, if your travel plans have changed, and you originally, when you boarded, told me you were coming to Lebanon, but you've decided you'd rather stay on all the way to Hanover, that is perfectly okay. But if you have luggage underneath, I still need you to get off here in Lebanon just to identify your bag so I can put them back underneath. Don't want to leave your bag here while we take you up to Hanover. Once again, Lebanon, coming right up. Dartmouth Coach is one of several affiliated regional bus companies that provide service between Upper New England and Boston South Station and Logan Airport, as well as premium service between New England and New York City. And yes, I do plan on trying all of them out eventually, thank you very kindly. Our ride today was a brand new Prevo X345, a superb choice for intercity travel. It has a standard 2-2 configuration, with seats that are much nicer than you'd find at most other over-the-road coaches. They are well cushioned with plenty of legroom, and include cup holders and full-size tray tables, almost on par with Amtrak seats. Dartmouth fits them with 51 seats instead of the more conventional 55, meaning there is one less row which allows for extra legroom. This is one of their standard style buses that travel to and from Boston. The one we'll travel on later to New York has a premium interior with two by one seating. More on that later. Soon after leaving Lebanon, we were back on the road and passed through some more foliage before rolling into the bucolic New England town of Hanover, New Hampshire. This is the kind of place where Hallmark Christmas movies take place. Not that that's necessarily a good or bad thing, but it's, well, whatever. Let me just stop on the head. Listen, I'm just trying to be somewhat poetic and folksy. Trying. Somewhat. Just humor me, okay? Thanks. In just a couple more moments, my friends, for our final stop of the day, the home of Dartmouth College, a beautiful town of Hanover, New Hampshire. Once again, just a couple more moments for Hanover, New Hampshire, our final stop of the day. Well, all right. Just arrived in... Hanover, New Hampshire, home to 
Dartmouth College, as you may or may not know. Just got off the bus a few minutes ago. We actually arrived a few minutes early. It is, I got 12.02 right now, atomic time. And uh, I got off the bus a few minutes ago, so that was a really nice ride. It was very scenic, of course. New England in the fall, hello. You know, orange, red, and yellow, and all that stuff, so. But uh, the ride itself was actually very comfortable. The buses were very nice. It's a Prevo X345. I didn't get the year number, but it's it's new. It's pretty new. And um, the seats are a lot more comfortable than most other buses I've been on. Uh, there was plenty of leg room. They had tray tables. They had, you know, I mean, of course, they reclined and all that stuff. But I was talking to the driver. He said that they put in, I think he said, 51 seats as opposed to the usual 55. So it was good. It was very good. I'm looking forward to the New York bus. So we'll see how that goes. So I got a couple hours to kill. The bus doesn't leave until 2.30, so I'm gonna go walk around, get something to eat, and find out a place to go hide for a couple hours. It's cool out now. It was raining, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. I strolled a few blocks of this lively town and grabbed lunch in a popular neighborhood pub called Molly's before returning to the Dartmouth Green in advance of the second leg of my journey. Then, it hit me. Small New England town, overcast skies, chill in the air, fall foliage, middle of October, big town square. This has the makings of a horror movie. Let's hope it doesn't have the endings of one. And it's starting to rain. Definitely horror movie material. Horror movie or not, the New York chariot finally arrived and I got on board. This bus, also a Prevo X345, is fitted with what Dartmouth Coach calls the executive style interior, with two-in-one seating plus a galley in the back. I suspect that before COVID times there may have been an onboard attendant that served refreshments to passengers at their seats, but I could be wrong on that. The setup certainly does allow for that, however. I settled into my single seat on the curb side of the bus and looked forward to a nice comfortable ride for the next several hours. We left on time and headed south. But first, let's take a look around this unique bus. Uh, 
Music is on channels 1 through 4 with your headsets and the movie soundtracks on channel 5. Federal regulations prevent alcohol and consumption and cigarettes on the bus or any smoking on the bus. So we ask you not to do that. We also ask you to not use your cell phone, but if you have to make a call, we do understand. We just ask you to keep it brief, keep your voice down, and to keep it off the speaker. Thanks for choosing that with Coach and Travel Day. Of course, mooch that I am, I had to avail myself of the nicely appointed snack box. Nothing fancy, but it was a nice touch, and better than you'd find on most buses, which is to say nothing. I also had to do another Lou review to see how the executive Lou compared or contrasted to the standard Lou. Still a bus bath. We rolled south along Interstate 91 for the next couple of hours through New Hampshire and part of Vermont the omnipresent splendid foliage passing by the large expansive windows, and I took some time to reflect on this trip. Like I mentioned before, this is one of three premium bus links between New England and New York City. The other two are operated by CNJ Bus and Concord Coach. The fact that they even exist suggests that there is some level of demand for service to these parts of New England from New York City, and this particular bus was about half full appearing to be a mix between college students and older travelers. Premium and luxury buses are still somewhat of a rarity in the United States, although they seem to be slowly and quietly growing in popularity, with several different companies connecting various city pairs around the country. Done properly, they may even serve as a substitute for regional flights in certain markets, and in fact, some airlines are using them in place of regional jets, such as American Airlines between Philadelphia and Atlantic City. If all goes well, you may very well see me on one of those. Now, this is only my personal opinion, but a true high-speed rail system in the United States is a worthwhile aspiration as something that should be done, but those projects take years to plan and design before construction even begins. Premium buses, while not, also in my opinion, a true substitute for high-speed rail, do have their place and can be a viable form of transportation. Pontificating aside, it was dark and rainy when we entered the New York City borough of the Bronx a little after 7. We made our way down the Bruckner Expressway and across the Triborough Bridge, landing on East 125th Street and 2nd Avenue, taking 2nd Avenue the rest of the way down through the east side of Manhattan. It was a special treat getting to see the passing cityscape from a premium seat on a premium bus, so believe me when I tell you that I savored every minute of this. We arrived at the stop at 42nd and 3rd a few minutes after the estimated 7.30 arrival time, but all in all, not bad considering it was raining and there were a few pockets of slow traffic. I bolted from the bus and headed for the subway for a crosstown jaunt. The plan was to hightail it to the Port Authority bus terminal and ride my friend's bus back home, but that didn't exactly work as intended. Thanks a bunch. Have a good night.
Perfect. Got to go down. Got a tight connection to make. <laughs> well, change of plan. My friend isn't working tonight, so I will not be riding with him, but I'm still going to catch a bus at 820 that's going to take me to my final destination. Remember what I said earlier about horror movies? Well, final destination. I'm in the home stretch. This is a long day. Tiring, but rewarding and fulfilling. I'm fulfilled. I'm almost home. The most beautiful place in the world. The most wonderful place on earth. Port Authority Bus Terminal. Love this place. Uh, almost there. Almost there.